Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today we're making one of my family's favorite recipes, and that is spinach artichoke dip. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the fall comfort foods that we have coming up, and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is fry the green onions and the garlic. So we're gonna start by ooh, melting the butter. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't turn that on first. We're gonna add the green onions and the garlic. All right, now as soon as that garlic starts getting fragrant, you know that it's done. You don't wanna overcook the onions or uh, the garlic. In fact, you can just throw them in the dip raw, but mm, I find that that raw onion changes the flavor and I really like it when you've kind of sauteed the onion and garlic just a little bit. Now, one of my favorite things about spinach chip is actually the artichoke hearts. Now, I prefer artichoke hearts that have been canned in oil. I feel like they have a lot better flavor. So you want mm, about 30 to 33 ounces and you want to uh, just chop them up. Now, if some of their outer skins are a little bit hard and you're not gonna wanna eat those, I just pull those off before I chop. And now for the main component of spinach dip, and that is the spinach. Now, you can use frozen spinach if you like. I just like using everything fresh. And uh, so, but if we use this fresh spinach in the spinach dip, as it heats up, it's going to bring out a bunch of juice from the spinach, and you're gonna end up with a really liquidy, spinachy spinach dip. So the first thing that we're gonna do is rinse this and then squeeze out all the extra juice. As you can see, it shrank quite a bit when we did this. Now we're just gonna go through here and chop it up. Now that everything's chopped, all that's left to do is just to put it all in a bowl and mix it. Now you can hand mix it, but um, personally, I, I like using my mixer whenever I can just to make it easy. So, especially with something like uh, cream cheese or trying to blend in really smooth. Artichoke hearts, all the spinach, the green onions, garlic, and butter, mayonnaise, sour cream. And now we add the cheeses. Parmesan cheese. And then you wanna add a little bit more cheese. You can go with kind of any cheese you want. You can go with a Monterey Jack, a mozzarella, a sharp cheddar. I like a smoked cheddar for that smoky effect, but um, just pick a favorite cheese. And of course, some salt and pepper. And then you can do some Tabasco sauce, or personally, I like these uh, Chinese oils. So I do uh, about half a teaspoon of that. And we're gonna mix it all together. And then just pour the mixture into some sort of casserole dish. Take some foil and cover it up. And then we're gonna heat it in the oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Uh, and I stop and stir at about the 20 minute mark. It's out of the oven, it's warm, it smells amazing. I cannot wait to dig into it. Now I serve this with chips, mm, and salsa and sour cream, cause you know, Never have too much sour cream. Mm, so good. And cheesy with great flavor. Mm, my kids love these with tortillas. It's just, it's hard to go wrong with a good spinach artichoke dip. So let me know if you give it a try in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot of fun comfort foods coming up for the fall, my favorite time of year. And let me know if there's another recipe you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.